It's the PFG Rock and Roll Talk Show. Scorch TV, Saturday nights at 10.30 p.m. on WMFP-TV, Channel 62. Me TV, Boston. Nunzio, you've toured the world, won numerous titles. What are your thoughts on the NECW and the level of talent? Well, to be honest, I've worked uh, since leaving WWE many, many uh, independent shows, and uh, NECW has to definitely be one of the best. And I say that because I go by talent and by roster and by depth. And uh, every time I wrestle on these shows, whoever I'm wrestling against always bring the best out of me. And sometimes on the independent level, sometimes I need that guy to go with that could uh, bring the best out of me, give, give that extra mile. So, um, and ECW is definitely one of the best promotions out there independently. Uh, they got a good following right now, I noticed. So, and uh, the stars are hungry, and that's what they are, and that's what you got to do to go up to the next level in professional wrestling. Well, you know, I, I've been in the business for 20 years. Uh, every time I come in the dressing room, uh, all those guys and many others always give me a lot of respect and stuff. And, you know, sometimes they want to pick my brain and they ask me to watch their matches. So it's not a role that I decided I'm going to do. It just comes natural to me because I like to give back, give back to, you know, some, uh, you know, give back to the younger generation because, you know, as wrestling goes on, these some of these guys that are on these shows now for New England Championship Wrestling could be the next WWE superstar, next uh, WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Heavyweight Champion. So, you know what, if I can give back, I will. If I can help somebody else, I will. Do you have aspirations to be the NECW Heavyweight Champion? Well, without a doubt. I mean, even though I don't mind helping out the younger competitors here, of course, I'm here to uh, to wrestle too, and I'm here to uh, put up a fight with one of these guys. So even though I'm going to mentor them, if they get in the ring with me, I'm definitely going to try to beat them. You always want to be at the top of your game. When I was in WWE in the Cruiserweight division, I was a Cruiserweight champion twice. When I was in ECW, I was an ECW tag team uh, champion twice. So uh, there's no doubt in my mind I could be the next NECW World Heavyweight Champion. NECW Sonic Boom. The audio podcast with Al Basler and Chris Norman. Now online at NECWWrestling.com. December 16, 2011, New England Championship Wrestling wrapped up the year with the fight before Christmas in Blackstone Mass. And there you see Blackstone Zone. Tank the Tank. Boom, indeed, the action was on and hot and heavy at the Millerville Men's Club. And there you see Sean Burke taking on the veteran, Johnny Thunder. Thunder with a kick to the midsection. Burke a little bit the worse for wear, but Thunder misses the bulldog. Burke laying in wait, has him up, drops him down, here's the cover. And Sean Burke continues his undefeated streak in New England Championship Wrestling. And your winner of the match, Sean Burke. It was the toughest test yet for Burke. And there you see the statement, Ilya Markopoulos taking on Sugar Shea. The athletic Sugar Shea. Not quite a match for the statement, Ilya Markopoulos. Bobby Fish later in the night, and then it was tag team action. Chase Del Monte and the real deal Brandon Locke taking on former two-time NECW tag team champions, the Logan Brothers, returning to New England Championship Wrestling. Chase Del Monte not quite getting the pin on Brian Logan. Del Monte laying in wait. Delmonte missing the kick. Roll up right here. The Logans. Some double team action planning. Delmonte face first. Here's the cover. And the Logans return to action in NECW in fine style. The 
World Women's Wrestling Champion Alexis Nevaeh successfully defended her title against Adriana. Alexis Nevea making short work of Adriana, and then it was main event time. The infamous Bobby Fish, the NECW heavyweight champion, in a non-title special challenge match against one half of the NECW tag team champions, Street Edge Brian Fury. There you see Fury rolling through, missing with the kick, Fish with the roll up. Two count only. Fish tries to go over the top, Fury catches him, belly to back suplex. Drops Fish right on his head. Sean Gorman on the outside, up to his usual tricks. And Tank the Tank, trying to keep order here, but Brian Fury nails him from behind. Back in the ring, Fish rolling through. Both men displaying why they hold championships in New England Championship Wrestling. The action was hot and heavy and back and forth. Fish with a big kick, levels, straight edge, Brian Fury. Fury, having Fish upstairs, slams him down. Cover right here, and only two. Fish barely kicking out. Fish, trying for the clothesline. Spins Fury around, has him upstairs. Drops Fury right on his knees. And Fury feeling the effects right there. Fish with a big spin kick. This is gonna do it right here. There's one, there's two, there's three. The NECW Heavyweight Champion with a big victory over Brian Fury. In your match, the NECW what a way to close out 2011 in New England Championship Wrestling. The infamous Bobby Fish once again victorious. Tank the Tank. Handing him the championship belt. There's more NECW online update right after this. It's NECW Live, Friday night, January 13th at the Irish American Club, 177 West Street, Malden, Mass, with an 8 p.m. bell time as NECW kicks off 2012 with New Year's Evolution. In a dream match main event, the infamous Bobby Fish defends the NECW Heavyweight Championship against former Ring of Honor World Champion Die Hard Eddie Edwards. The NECW Tag Team Championship is on the line as the Dynasty take on the undefeated duo of Sean Burke and Matt Taven. In a special challenge match, the real deal Brandon Locke squares off against the statement Ilya Markopoulos. Plus, All Money is Legal make their NECW debut against the Logan Brothers. Taka Suzuki returns to action, taking on Chase Del Monte and much more. Plus, free official 2012 NECW magnetic calendars to everyone while they last. Tickets are on sale now at NECWWrestling.com or call toll-free 1-800-838-3006. That's 1-800-838-3006. Be there when NECW kicks off 2012 with New Year's Evolution, Friday, January 13th at the Irish American Club in Malden. First and foremost, I feel like I just won the Super Bowl and I should be looking at everybody and going, I'm going to Disney World. It's no idiotic dumb thing, my friend, that I am one half of the longest reigning NECW Tag Team Champions of all time, and I was glad to be part of that. But it's different days, it's different things. And you know what? People around here thought that the BBB lost his edge, lost the mind games. I fit that cohesive unit known as the Crown Jewels like a glove. There's a reason why they called it the Crown Jewels, because it was the best of the best put together, trained by the best, Walter Killer Kowalski. Lost my edge? Never. It's just a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new light. And the BBB, he's feeling good. But you and Darling Damon are best of friends. You returned against Elia Markopoulos to the surprise of Mr. Fabulous here in Carver. Why the surprise? Surprises? Do you not know the lineage of the Boston bad boy? 
Before me, there was a man named Tony Rumble that ran roughshod around all of New England and all of the world. Some people want to say that I'm a master of mind games. Ha ha ha, my friend, au contraire mon, mon frere, as I once said, I took over the seat known as the master of mind games. That's why, like I said, I fit like a glove when it came to the crown jewels. Darling Damon, he's my boy. He should understand where I'm coming from. Ilya, Mark, Tropolis, or whatever you want to call yourself, you ain't no jewel. You're a Johnny come lately. You're one of them young, up and coming kids that got no respect for the veterans of professional wrestling. If you want to step foot with me, the B to the B to the B, you're going to go down like the rest because you'll never pass the test because I am the boldest, the baddest, simply the best. Okay, pal? Do you got anything more to say? Do you have any other words? for the Crown Jewels and Mr. Fabulous? Like I said, I have no beef with the Crown Jewels. I have no beef with Darling Damon. My beef is with just getting the respect once again of people knowing that I can do it on my own. I don't need to be part of some silly. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. How dare you come out here on national television Talking about you're the bad boy, you're the baddest, you're the BBB. Let me tell you something. Right there, zip it, fam OT. How dare you talk to Mr. I Fabulous? respect what you've done and where you've been in this world. I made like you. But you want to know something? The issue's you... not with Darling Damon. Yes? I do have an issue. It's with you. With me? What are... And your big fat mouth. Wait a minute. How dare you call me fat? You know the sound? You see, you gotta understand something. When you mess with my jewels, you're gonna lose, and you're gonna understand that. So let me put some makeup on you, so that you know that you stand for something. You will always be a jewel, no matter how long you live. You'll always be a jewel. You gotta understand that. When you mess with the jewels and Mr. Fabulous, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. Now Let's that, get out of here. That's, now that's a statement. Fabulous. Come on, sweetheart. Let's get out of here. And it's Take more out the